Mastery camos, one of the greatest things added to Call of Duty. And it started off very simple with Codfar adding the gold camo. Then Black Ops 2 added diamond if you got gold on every gun in a weapon class. Advanced Warfare took it a little further, adding the royalty camo achieved by getting every gun diamond. Obviously, we have to mention the first time we got Dark Matter in Black Ops 3. <laughs> And with the release of Black Ops 6, Dark Matter is back and we're going to unlock it today. And oh man, was it fun, especially the launchers. Bosh. Hey, RPG level 17. That's how many times I've got like three UAVs in a game instead of five. What? Nah. It's going through. I swear to God, it's going through. Yeah, okay. Get in. There's no way that went through. I don't care what anyone says, bro. That went through. And now they're gone. Oh my God, this is so stupid. Oh man. They've just forgot how to call in streaks now. I've just got to feed them. I mean, how are they not getting UAVs? I don't understand. Does that count? I don't even know if that counts. UAV, oh, UAV! Go, 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 go. Where we're looking. Come on. That's it. How? That looks so good, bro. And that did too. Please. Yes, come on. We need one more. We just need one more. Oh, never mind. It counted. Get in. Why did I not do it when they were bugged, bro? So now we've got gold done. We've got diamond done. We've got dark spine done. And the only one left is dark matter. The challenge is get five kills without dying three times. And we'll be able to unlock this beautiful camo. And what better way to unlock it than playing Nuketown with the most overpowered gun Sick. Most overpowered gun in Black Ops 6, which is the AEK with rapid fire. One. Two. Wait, we're on a four kill streak. Hold on. Yes. There's our first bloodthirsty. We've only got 12 bullets left. Oh, we need to go. All right, we need to do that, but two more times. This gun is absolutely ridiculous, bro. If you don't have rapid fire unlocked with this, it's pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. But once you unlock it, it just... Okay. I'd like to fridge Raider 479. It just transforms the gun into, well, just the best one in the game. One more kill again. Okay, there we go. Perfect. One more bloodthirsty and dark matter is ours. I'm whiffing, holy. Okay, we're gaming a little bit. We need to put this down. Reload. Probably pop this. I'm gonna die to that nade, right? Uh-oh. No, it's Fridge Raider again. Bro is insane. Yeah, it's like one burst capabilities is what makes it so broken in my opinion. I didn't even hit a headshot right there and it just one burst him. I think you should always have to hit a headshot in order to one burst in my opinion, especially if it shoots this fast. Is that it? No, I just leveled up. Okay, I think I need one more. There we go. That was the bloodthirsty. I want to see it pop up. Don't kill me. There we go. Dark matter camo. All right, get me the hell out of that game. We need to see dark matter. Here we are then. Dark matter in Black Ops 6. It looks so good. Maybe me suffering with a baseball bat was worth it in the end because that was by far the most annoying part. But another thing is that this camo is reactive. So if I shoot it, it actually changes. As you can see, there's like red dots in it now too. Not quite Black Ops 4 level of like reactive camos, but hey. 
We will take it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> yeah, this gun's not broken. Hey, I I can't believe what I'm playing. Like, what the hell was going through these devs' brains when they made this gun, mate? Okay. He had the recon specialist, right? Yeah, the wall hacks. So this is the AEK without rapid fire. Super slow. And this is it with rapid fire. Look at that difference. Not only is the delay faster between bursts, but the actual, like, how fast the burst is, is faster too. You know, it's just ridiculous. All right, it's time for some search and destroy because I've not really played this as much as I wanted to. I've been so focused on the camera grind, so this should be interesting. What are you doing? You just went prone. <laughs> I mean, he shot first and he still died because I'm using this. Same with him. Shoot first, die first. And the last one, he's got to be... To make shooting him. There we go. He's got to be somewhere in the spawn, I was saying. But that was a clean round. I joined quite late, unfortunately. Teammates were already winning 2-0, which is a first. Normally get put onto the losing team. But that round just showcases how stupidly broken this gun is. No way. What? No. My teammate confused me because he talked to me. I don't even know what he said. Did he say, like, I'm fine or something? Insta killed. Insta killed. Anyone else want to get insta killed? This is probably a bad idea, but I'm doing it anyway. Insta killed. Insta killed. Insta killed. <laughs> Come on, man. Devs, what are we doing? <laughs> I actually can't believe what I'm playing. There's definitely going to be another insane gun that everyone's overlooking just because we haven't unlocked all the attachments on it. Like some random LMG with a weird attachment. I'm telling you, there's something out there that we don't know because if people haven't like caught on to this gun yet, everyone's meaning the XM4 when, you know... You could just be having a great time abusing this gun instead. Oh my god, our teammate got a triple. Look in the bottom left. What a legend. Oh, nice shots. My guy stopped ADSing for some reason. That was a very fast 6 and 1, though. 16 to 2. I feel like I'm cheating using this AEK. It does not feel very nice to use against people because it's that overpowered, so. Let's move on quickly before we get shadow banned. People thinking I'm using some like damage hack. Let's move on to another dark matter gun. This is the XM4 and it's looking really good on this map, by the way. Why is it looking like this? Like I get it, it's different lighting, but it's like really glowing. This looks really nice, actually. It's looking more like a uh, black sky. If you guys grinded for that in infinite warfare. Oh God, he picked the right hand side again. What a psycho. I'm full sending. Wait. You can't hear that? I just zips up on him and he didn't even turn around. He's stomping. He's stomping. Go off and dive. Hey. <laughs> dive off the map as well. Now this is Omni Movement. I thought he just jumped off the map then. I'm actually the worst player alive. Like, bro, that was so bad. That guy somehow was worse, thankfully, but that was very, very scuffed. They're both in there? Oh my god, I don't have the patience to play like that. At least Dark Matter looks good, even if we're playing the most patient players on planet Earth. Literally every time I go to that place, I get a kill. Every single time. It's really good. I don't know why people don't, like, expect it. But, oh, there's a guy up here. He's shooting our teammates off the... Off the zip. Alright, where could this guy be? Who is it? I mean, they're all, like, prestige on the other team. 
They know what they're doing. So I guess he just doesn't want to defuse. Okay. It's so weird them playing S&D like this because I get it. Just camping to make people mad, but they're not even talking in game. At least talk or do something if you're going to play like this. Wait. No way. These have got to be the most boring people alive. I'm going back to the bomb site. I get it. They know we're going to rush every round, but come on. They've got 15 seconds left. Like, if they're going to do something, they have to do something now. I mean, they're just not going to plant and we just win. Like, come on, man. Look, they didn't even plant. No. Oh my God, there's so many of them. That is such a weird angle that I don't even know. Can I shoot for this? Oh, they're both there. I say both. There's three people alive, but... I don't know how I didn't die to that as well. Because I don't have EOD, so... Or oh, flak jacket. There we go. Did the other guy die or run away? Oh, am I going cr- never mind. I was like, am I going crazy or were there actually not two people on that helicopter? But lo and behold, there were. We just need one more round, but unfortunately we're back on defense. So we can't make the game go any faster than how they want to play, basically. So yeah, this might suck. Yes, let's go. Nice little double to end off the game, 6-4. I bet 19 to 4 too. I got really lucky though, but that was a nice double. Just to put that out there, that recording was 21 minutes long for one game of Search and Destroy. That is absurd. MP5 time, or as it's called, what is it? C9 in this game, something like that. And we're on Derelict again, so this is how we started. That guy is prestige for level 50. Man's grinding. Holy. Is the sniper still here? And the sniper died. I guess he had overkill because none of the people that I killed had a sniper. But that was a good first round though. Nice little 4k. And this is the most unbalanced game I've ever seen in my life. Prestige 4, Prestige 4, Prestige 2, Prestige 3. Against non-prestige and one Prestige 4. Like, hello? That 0-2 guy might just have the greatest stats in the world, I guess. But I would not like to be that guy right now. No! Get the trade! Is he getting it? Oh, no. Oh, he's winning. Nice. I saw that nuke calling card on my teammate, and I was like, yeah, this guy is not losing. Hey, that is Semtex got me a kill. I'm sorry, bro. You are so loud. No! I had a head glitch and everything and I still lost. Look at that. That was such a mean head glitch. Uh, we had a good start and now we're kind of throwing. But it's fine. Our teammate's got a gold XM4. He's got the breadwinner, so... He just wins everything. Come on. Is it a 1v1? You actually have to check the scoreboard to see who's alive, which is stupid. He actually won. Nice little 1v3 for the breadwinner. And he's doing all this. Oh, no, nah, we're losing 6-3. There's only one guy left. And he's in... Do I just see him? That is a massive no. How did he lose that? Yeah, like an XM4 or something. And I just beamed him 1 HP across the map. MP5 is just like that, I guess. Let's see. I think it's because I got that lucky headshot right there, too. I mean, look at that teammate, dolphin diving. Go on, team. Hey, stop shooting me. There we go. I teammate didn't die. Is he going to jump down on me? He is not. There we go. And the last one is... Nowhere to be seen. I couldn't see him then. For some reason, he like blended in with the background. 
Yeah, that was bad from me, but... Our teammate won anyway. I'm pretty sure that's it, right? Yeah, 6-0. This does not look good. This guy's prestige 9 and this guy's prestige 6. Oh, they better be on my team. That's all I'm going to say. They are on my team. Let's go. Can we sneak through? There we go. Holy. Whoa, I didn't know it was there. I keep dolphin diving by accident and it's kind of getting annoying now. I'm just really not used to sprint assist yet. I just keep doing stuff that I don't even mean to do, but yeah. This guy has actually got nebula, the zombies camo. And he's beaming. That does make sense why he's such a high level though. If he's got both dark matter and nebula. It's just like when I was unlocking uh, dark matter on stuff. You get 7,500 XP per camo. So as long as you're not like level 55 or whatever, you can level up super fast doing the camos. Oh, he was prone as well in his spawn. Did you see that? He's dead. Unfortunate. Whoa, Ethan, please aim. Yeah, this is a bit ridiculous, though. My teammates are so good that you have to fight for the kills. It's like you're not even fighting the enemies at this point. You're only fighting your teammates, so it's pretty funny. It's also a ridiculously small map for S&D, too. Like, how is this not a face-off map? I will never understand. No! God damn it, man. I just want to get some kills. so ridiculous it's funny but it's ridiculous okay we can spectate this biro guy though prestige nine using an aims nebula's looking nice though i kind of want it i know it's a pretty painful grind but yeah it's looking nice okay i can't be bothered to wait 20 seconds i'm just gonna leave now we won six though now we are on to the lr this already looks insane without this camo but wow with this blueprint as well, the Vault Edition blueprint, this thing looks insane. It's too bad that I absolutely suck at sniping, so this is going to be interesting. Nice. We're going up. That was not a good idea. Go. Unless. Hit mark is crazy. It isn't actually because I hit him in the toe, but. Yes, I'm doing something. There we go. Wait, there's only one guy left? Our teammate went crazy. Go on, teammate. I'm 1 HP. Nice. What? This guy's insane. It's the people that are absolutely stomping, bro. They've got no chance. Everyone backed out. No. Secretly, yes. So I don't have to snipe anymore. It's too difficult and I whiff every shot. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this video right here. Honestly, I am so happy Dark Matter is, uh, is back because I see a lot of people complain about their creativity because it has been in a bunch of Black Ops games, but I will take this mastery camo over, you know, Damascus or something like that any day. I don't care how many times they you know go back to it but i'll quickly just show you all of the class setups that i did use in this video so that's the aek and then this is the xm4 i do hope they fix the loadout and the menus though because if you do it too fast it just like bugs out and doesn't do what you want it to do i don't really know how to explain it but yeah, if you've played the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll actually go through my stats before I end this, because this is how long it took me. So 54 hours, obviously I've been playing S&D here and there as well. 0 0.49 win loss, 1.26 elimination death ratio, holy. Most used guns, AEK with a thousand, and then pretty much everything else uh, with a similar kill count. Wait, why does it say nothing? 289 and 321. And that's sick. It tells you how many times you've died by it too. Wait, we need to see the XM4. 507 times I've died to the XM4 compared to everything else. Oh, Jackal, 600. MP5, 700. And this damn shotgun, 500. Okay, I'm going to stop looking at that. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one.